Hi, how's it going? This is Resident of Color with Community back with another Dark Shadows video for you guys and gals and give my reaction to episode 72. You know, this starts off at Collinwood. Uh, we're in Vicky's bedroom, which was Elizabeth when she was younger. Uh, Vicky decides she's going to hem a dress. Uh, it, by the way, this is the same day where Vicky just you know, visited the sheriff or took her home, you know, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> and uh, Carolyn knocks on the door. Vicky says, come in. It, it's Carolyn. And Vicky, Vicky receives a promo and a promo <laughs> by Carolyn. Carolyn cuts a promo on, on Vicky <laughs> pretty hard. Uh, she's rambling about how, you know, what side are you on? She's criticizing for Bert. Vicky for Burt, Devlin and Burt home. She's accusing Vicky of flirting with Burt, dating Burt, <laughs> all those things. And I like Vicky's counterpoint. She's like, I'll ask you the same what you asked me. Whose side are you on? This causes Carolyn to leave the room. Basically, you know, you have your argument here between Vicky and Carolyn, something Carolyn instigated. And it's a really great interaction between Alexandra and Nancy Barrett, Alexandra uh, Isles and Nancy Barrett. You also have a very interesting bit of love triangle, right? I mean, from an outside looking in standpoint, Joe is going to be put on the back burner by Carolyn. I mean, their relationship to me ha has, I've mentioned this before, it's cracked. And Joe's not even in this episode, but I figured I'd give him a mention. <laughs> um, it's worth mentioning when you're looking at this, when you're somewhat looking at the argument in this episode that happens. You also have, <laughs> this is also the episode that's most famous for Mrs. Johnson um, complaining about the mayonnaise. I'll get into that here in a moment. Um, you have Carolyn who is going to leave. She gets short with her mother too. And she tells she tells uh, her mother what Vicky was doing. And you know, that's why David hasn't had his lesson. So Elizabeth, Elizabeth goes upstairs and uh, before Carolyn leaves the house, she asks her, hey, have you given any consideration to hiring, you know, a housekeeper? I'm giving a lot of consideration to firing the, go the governess, <laughs> which is Vicky. Um, Carolyn leaves. Um, we have, you know, Elizabeth 20, you know, not 20 question, but questioning Vicky. Um, it's a great set again you get a lot of great setups too prior to certain scenes that are really criminally good and you get that here um so vicky says roger you know she explains what roger did roger told her to take the day off you know and okay on for it and vicky gets told by elizabeth you know on further if this happens again, you know, please don't bring Bert back here, back to the house. She didn't bring him back. He he brought her there. Uh, he brought himself back. In a lot of ways, Bert Devlin finds an excuse to go back up to Colin. Um, and it's a brilliant excuse, right? Take take Miss Winters back up to Colin. And it stirs the pot for this episode. Um, at least with certain characters. Um, but Carolyn, Vicky, Elizabeth. It's a great way to follow episode 71. Um, but one of the, the part who steals this episode, uh, Clarice Blackburn steals this episode um Catherine Lee Scott is in this episode as Maggie Evans not because she complains about the mayonnaise or you know she says you know I make my mayonnaise fresh 
She doesn't just ask about the menus when you get back and watch this, actually. She asks, is your roast beef well cooked? Is your lettuce well washed? Is your mayonnaise uh, fresh? And Maggie Evans says, yeah, the, it's cooked. The lettuce is, was run through the dishwasher. I love, I love the sass, right? Um, Maggie also says that the mayonnaise is fresh as a daisy. And she, when Maggie makes a sandwich, she, Mrs. Johnson smells it. You know, I don't try to find things that could in, could have inspired certain things. I just pick up on it more now that I'm going, re-going back and re-watching DS again. It's just criminal. I don't think this inspired, I don't think Mrs. John, again, could she have inspired the, the a, tr a character trade from a character years later? Maybe she did. Um, and if people, she smelled the sandwich, right? Well, the only other character I've seen smell sandwiches was Foreman from House. Um, I'm not saying that they took it from here. I'm just, it's, it'd be interesting if they did. <laughs> um, I talked about Clarice Blackburn still in this episode. She talks, she makes Maggie re, you know, remake the sandwich without the mayonnaise. And she apologizes to Maggie. Maggie does not have a customer at this time, another customer outside of Mrs. Johnson. Mrs. Johnson asks her to sit down, and so Maggie does with some reluctance because she doesn't want to like just sit down. She goes, I'm the only one in here. You don't have any other customers. And there's a really hefty conversation about Bill Morley, about how I love Clarice Blackburn's line here that I didn't, you know, wear, wear his ring, I didn't share his bed, I, I didn't share a bed with him, I didn't share his last name, you know, but I was as close to him as anybody. Um, and you get that sense of how working for somebody, and Maggie sort of segues this too, it can feel like a marriage. It's a great job by both actresses. It's really, you know, I've talked about Dark Shadows worth going back and watching through. Definitely, definitely it is. And definitely check out episode 72. It's worth, again, great, great job just by everybody involved. Um, so Carolyn comes in, and so Maggie gets up, and she goes, oh, would you like some pie? Would, you know, and she's pointing at Mrs. Johnson. She goes, that's Mrs. Johnson. She goes, I know who it is. I just, you know. And she, you know, Maggie doesn't get to say too, too much here, because uh, Carolyn goes over to the table um, for Mr. Johnson saying, and again, you know, she's, you yeah, have Carolyn telling me, she wants, I'm going to talk to my mom, you know, I, I, you know, my mom is thinking about it, you know, she's reassuring her mom's thinking about it. She can't guarantee her mom is going to give her the job that her mom is thinking about. And this actually ties in with Elizabeth and Vicky. Okay. So... After, you know, telling Vicky, don't, don't bring Burke back here again. And, you know, she knows that, Elizabeth, I mean, knows that Vicky told her, that Roger told her, you know, hey, take the day off, you know, spend it with me, basically, you know, took her to breakfast, all that stuff. So she, Elizabeth, calls Roger, and you really have an interesting, interesting argument, finally, between Elizabeth and Vicky. Um, it's, to me, it's the best argument they've ever had, and it is really, really good. It's gold. Um, 
you know, Vicky basically, she's had enough of it. She goes, I'm tired of being checked on. I'm tired of being treated like I'm hiding. I'm snooping. Um, I'm trying to steal someone's boyfriend. Um, and listen, remember, you're under, you know, you work for me. Vicky just says, then fire me. And it sort of sh shocks Liz that she said this, like, hey, if you want me gone, just get rid of me. I'll leave, you know. You're, you're finally getting this. And Vicky's had a bit of pushback before, but this is the biggest pushback at Liz. And it's really, really well done. It's a great, great scene between two actresses who know how to sell and what they're doing. So they're at the fireplace after this and they apologize to one another. She, you know, and Liz tells her, you know, he, I've grown fond of you. I don't, you know, I didn't. I do believe, you know, Liz is being honest here too. In, in all sense, I didn't realize bringing you here, you know, all this, all these other things were going to happen. Bringing you. I didn't foresee that, you know, and she didn't. I mean, that's true. She didn't see Bert coming back. She didn't foresee Bert coming back, you know, she didn't. It wasn't an anticipation of, oh, Bert's going to come back. No, no, that wasn't, you know, there. You know, at the, at the diner, Mrs. Johnson does cut a promo about, you know, God and, you know, vengeful eye and Maggie's like, whose eye are you after, Mrs. Johnson? This is before, before Carol comes in, obviously. Um, it's a great scene, again, just, and... There's some great closing moments here. Um, Mrs. Maggie tells Carolyn, because Carolyn tells me, oh, I'm, I'm trying to get her up at Colin. She goes, well, just ask yourself one question before you do. What's that? Who's I? She asked her. Because um, Maggie has said, I don't like her. She's creepy. Uh, she's always giving me the creeps. Me and Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> um, and Mrs. Johnson, by the end of this episode, phones up Burke Devlin and, uh, Tells him, I, I, yeah, I think Carolyn says she's going to continue to put in good words for me. So you have that here. It's very, very, it's a very, 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 very great episode of DS. Guys, you should go check out episode 72. All right, guys, you have a great night.